Hello everyone, my name is Lorena and in this video I am going to show you how to properly clean your oven racks. This weekend I roasted an amazing chicken inside this oven and he left a pretty crazy splatter all over and the racks were overdue for cleaning so here we are. I've seen some videos about cleaning oven racks that encourage you to soak these babies for hours in your bathtub and at least from a professional cleaning point of view Taking any kitchen item to the bathroom is a big no-no. Here are the tools and supplies you will need. One pair of gloves, some cleaning cloths, one garbage bag, some steel wool pads, two to four should be okay. Oxy detergent. Actually, you can use any detergent, but I find oxy to be the most efficient. A pail. This one is optional, but today I'll be using one and soon you'll see why. And last but not least, towels. Ones that you don't mind getting dirty. And that's all. No more talking. Let's get started. I'll go ahead and time myself. First, I like to start by warming up the oven racks inside the oven just a tiny bit so they're more willing to let go the grease. Then you have two options. One, you can turn on the tap water at the highest temperature available and get one of those old towels wet. This one will go inside and at the bottom of the garbage bag lying flat on top of your kitchen counter. This will be almost like a bed for your racks and will also protect your countertop from any sort of scratch bump or accidental damage. The second option will be to boil some water inside one of these instant boiling pots or a regular pot on your stove top. Then block the sink and fill it up with the hot water if you're not using the pail. In my case, I like to use the pail because I like to protect my sink from scratches too. So I will be pouring the boiling water inside the pail instead of directly to the sink but just know that both options are okay then you pour a good amount of oxy detergent i did not measure it but you should be using about a cup or so honestly it does not matter just use your own judgment Go ahead and turn off the oven and take the racks out now, but please be careful that the racks are not too hot. They should be hot to the touch, but not unbearable. Do a one finger test before actually grabbing them. And if they're burning you, use a mitten or wait until they cool off a little. Place each rack inside the bag on top of the hot wet towel. Once all the racks are in, Get another kitchen towel and soak it inside the oxy and hot water mixture, just like so. You will place it flat on top of all the racks inside your ultimate DIY spa-like bag. You might want to place the bag opening facing your sink for easy access. Tuck in and close the bag as tightly as you can so the steam cannot escape easily. I really like these kind of stretchy garbage bags, but if you don't have them, you can double a regular bag to avoid rips and spills. Mm -hmm. 
After a few minutes, start taking one by one each rack out of the steaming bag and briefly soak one steel wool pad in the oxy hot water mixture. Gently start scrubbing every nook and cranny from your racks. Make sure to go around and scrub in different directions, front and back, up and down. And go again to double check each rack to ensure you haven't missed any spots. I swear, you do not have to use hog strength here. Instead, fill yourself with patience and if you are a multitasker like I am, you can listen to your favorite podcast, audiobook, music, or video call a family member or a friend you have not seen for a while. You will feel double the satisfaction. The before and after change is evident immediately. Once you're satisfied giving some love to your oven racks, rinse them thoroughly with fresh clean water and the help of a cleaning cloth or brush if you'd like. Before you finish rinsing each rack, prepare another pot of boiling water because you will do a change of hot water and oxy every time you open the bag to take out the next rack and you will want to replace the hot towel so it will continue steaming the remaining racks if the cloth is too hot you can use a pair of thongs so you don't burn your fingers and then reclose the bag And voila, just like that, we are done, my friends. It took me two and a half hours to clean three large and yucky looking oven racks, but the results are truly amazing and very professional. If you rinse them thoroughly, you can let them air dry, no need to hand dry or buff or anything like that. If you see any watermarks or white residue from the oxy or blue residue from a soapy wool pad, if you use one, just use a clean, damp cloth to finish them off before placing them back in the oven. I promise you they will, and I quote my friend Rihanna here, shine bright. <laughs> yeah, just like diamonds. Now what? Let's prepare dinner. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.